You are listening to the No Nonsense Show. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the No Nonsense Show. It's your boy Jay Smooth. It's in the building. Looking just fresh as hell like I always do. No, you know you what don't. I'm saying? I do. You, you got know an me? undersized polo on. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, it even a real is it undersized and that nigga just big as fuck? Hey, <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. This motherfucker look like a Haitian soccer player, this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm Josie Altador today, but even though I'm wearing a Ronaldo jersey. I, I don't know. I don't know, French. He's I'm, the Haitian soccer US player. You, you see killing me with them caps. If anybody king of caps, boy, you be oh, king yeah, of them yeah, goddamn yeah, work, workman cap. Yeah. That's some bullshit right there, though. I mean, you represent no fly like a motherfucker. Let me see your wrist. You got all your, your shit yeah, on. I got the braces on. So I got the ask, Casio on. So do you bathe and all that shit? No, I took him out. Really? Yeah. You take off every piece of. I only keep the one with my name, that Kenyan one, and then that piece. That's that nigga jury. That That's got that nigga jury. Kind of bacteria. In hey, it. <laughs> that nigga take his shit off like it's real jury, like it's gonna motherfucking die or something, you know? But I mean, it's kind of cool though, French. I mean, you got that little tight ass watch on Casio. I'm like, but you know, you you stay fresh to the motherfucker though. You know, I'm just saying though. But yeah, welcome back. Be honest, goddamn. What's up, fat boy? How's the workout plan going? It's going all right. I've been busy, but I've been I've been trying to get there at least twice a week. Okay, okay. I got yeah, how about, how about you? you? I ain't nigga. I'm I've been, to go I've been hard getting to the gym actually next month. I'm I trying actually, to get that summer body right. I actually been getting there every day. Yeah, every day. Right. To the table, nigga. <laughs> to the table. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, no gym, no gym. Shit, not yet. But hey, honestly. I had some peanut butter sandwiches. Um, oh, you got so your protein Friday, for today? Yeah, Friday you and got today. Your protein. You know what what, what why, why is that good? Peanut butter sandwiches. It, I mean, it was it's a good better month. than McDonald's, I guess. But I guess because that's I, look, that's because I was broke, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hadn't had a peanut butter jelly sandwich in a minute, but that motherfucker was good though, man. Shit was pretty goddamn good for lunch though. French French wheat. Oh, you got a you got a nut allergy. No, nah, I eat peanut butter. Eat peanut I'm butter? Haitian, but I don't got that privilege to be allergic you like, you to like peanuts. Nuts? You like nuts? I like peanuts. Hey, he's like, okay, small nuts. So you rather do small nuts than big nuts, right? Uh, any day. Yeah, damn, my, look at big. So, but yeah, <laughs> so um, man, I had a I had a uh, embarrassing moment. What is at it? work? A you peed on yourself? Ago. No, nigga. Jacked off? Huh? No, nigga, not that. Not <laughs> Pee-wee that, Herman. Not that. that was his no, name, right? Uh, uh-uh. <laughs> no, I was actually talking to somebody. I was talking to a manager at work. Mm-hmm. And I was having a straight conversation with him, right? Oh, not you know a gay one? No, a straight conversation, right? <laughs> and it was quiet where we were, you know, besides us talking. And you know you how you have that feel to come over you like you want to poot and you hoping it'd be like one of them silent ones? Yeah, like a silent and, fart. Yeah, but those and, are the stinky ones. <laughs> hey, though. look. So I was talking to I was talking to the manager shit and wind up farting. And I was talking And I tried to talk over it Like nothing <laughs> yeah. happened Raise the volume <laughs> and, and like I got two more sentences She said wait a minute It was a female man She said wait a minute Did you just fart? I'm like I ain't trying to be funny But yeah Hey my bad And I felt kind of bad And I was like Well at least it didn't stink I said I wanted to be a quiet one But I didn't know How it was going to come out I was hoping it was going to be silent And then I was going to kind of walk, Keep walking <laughs> So that you don't smell it You know what I'm saying <laughs> And that whoever come behind us They can smell it But this one of motherfucker was like We talking to her I said burnt I am like damn You know what I'm saying And she's, and when she asked the question She's looking at me like I know you didn't just damn fart And I'm like shit It happens It's a bodily fucking function Yeah Y'all ever had that motherfucking shit happen That motherfucker Nah 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 no. Not like Motherfuckers that. just fart And just hope Don't nobody just smell it. it Or just Nah fuck you that You hold like, it And then you walk to the bathroom Like I usually walk To the bathroom Somewhere where I'm by myself And just You know just pr- let it out. I've, I didn't fart Because my fart stink, so I can't do that to people. I didn't fart it, like, whether at work or in the store and walk off and come back in the area, like, it, it wasn't even mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you been in the store, like, you hoping don't nobody come in this area while you looking at cereal, and you be like, shit, they walk down, they gonna know that was me. So I walk off and, then, and go back around and then come back and say, shit, damn. And I make the face, nigga, like, damn. You know, so they don't think it's me, like, somebody with their nasty ass. Are, you that, me, are no. you that self-conscious about what people think about you? Hell yeah. I mean, because I don't want... You, you, ever walked in a, you ever walked in the bathroom and saw somebody that you knew up there shitting and be like, this motherfucker Dante shitting. Yeah, and yeah, like, like, that like that co-workers stank, and shit. Motherfucker yeah. stank. And they don't flush the toilet. And it'd be pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? And you want to tell them flush the goddamn toilet. So you go right after them? No, when you walk in, you see the nigga shoot because you work beside him. Yeah, but you see nigga well, hush you know they don't you flush the toilet. Oh, no, you I didn't say. It? No, I'm saying it smells in the fucking bathroom. You stinking the shit. Yeah, but still, nigga, you gotta flush his courtesy shit. 
But so you want him to flush while he's still dropping. Absolutely. You, you, so he's dropping one flush, dropping one flush. Absolutely, nigga. I I be to the point where they be like, this nigga just it it would seem that's like that's how me, I know you don't pay the water bill. No, look, look. That, like to me, like when I had motherfucker had the shit the other day, motherfucker work. I know they was like this nigga back there. Boy, probably he probably was thinking. Oh, this nigga bullshitting, so he ain't coming out, so we know who that is shitting. But I was really just flushing, 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 because I don't want anybody to smell, but I try to spray first, and then shit, flush, shit, flush. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, I had that crazy ass, ass moment at motherfucking work, but I don't know. That just might be smooth. I'm just a nasty just, motherfucker. I'm a nasty smooth. fucking guy anyway. I mean, I'll be honest, you, I mean. I don't use the bathroom at work. You're, you're a prissy ass nigga I mean I work at home now But when I worked When I didn't work at home I don't I don't use the bathroom Anywhere but home Shit Sometimes that stomach uh, go For real? Yeah really I So don't, when you have to go You just hold I that I don't shit? have to go Fuck that I can't hold it But I'm gonna I'm shit wherever I need to shit Except for a part of the party But after that Nigga I had to I, shit I, support I'll do it at work I stand I'll do it at McDonald's I'll do it at a gas station If I have to go man I'm gonna drop it bro yeah, I especially for nobody. Especially one, especially one of the ones where it seems like your stomach is just gurgling. Yeah, yeah. When you know, you know it's you like two, quick, two, three quick drops, boom, boom. Nah. I'm gonna go to the rest area, but I'm gonna do it. And what, I just, what are we talking about? I'm just saying, embarrassing Drop the fucking, shit. <laughs> what are we talking about? I was just talking about embarrassing motherfucking moments. You know what I'm saying? Look, J Mac, this is your fault. This is your I'm fault, J Mac. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, man, I was actually at the park this weekend. Be honest, I didn't work out. I kind of did. I was sleeping. Yeah, he was park. working out your mental. <laughs> yeah, I was sleeping at the park. It was a nice fucking day at the park. So I went to the park and was laying back, just testing out these chairs. My mentor kind of had some nice ass recliner like lounge chairs. I think chairs. after I've a certain age, you can't say mentor. Like if you're 40 plus. No, no, no. You should. You, you, you can always you, have a mentor. I think you should always have a mentor if you can. Yeah, see, that's, okay. that's that. There's that always somebody shit. more yeah, experienced. Yeah, that was probably some young response. Yeah. There's always somebody more experienced than you. Absolutely, yeah. friend. So learn from me. I'm going to always be your fucking mentor. <laughs> yeah, right. You, well, got you know, I'm, I'm interested. You got fired. You're supposed to stop cursing. I'm interested. What um, do you mentor him on? And no, we we did stop cursing. You're the only one. Okay, I won't curse no more. What um, what this. do you mentor him on? Can you give me an example? Just women. Women. How to be? How to? How to get? How to get your one? Woman I thought this up. was a business thing. There's no business in your but mentorship. He, French Reggie. He French Reggie. He he eh, he still uh, eh. Yeah, just women now. It's so just women how now. does that go? He dropped the other class. How does that go? The women mentoring. <laughs> Tell me how well, this goes. Well, because I'm, he's still at. You still at twenty? Twenty? I mean, I mean, I still my twenties. Like I'm probably like 27, 28 now. Uh, what, see, see, what, what's see? the what's the goal? It was twenty. Mentor? No, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was it was always be more than twenty. No, you said it was twenty. I said I'm in my twenties. We can rewind back to that episode. When, yeah. when you when you first came on the show, he wasn't mentoring you in women. You said he was your uh, mentor. And what was this a mentor for? Um, financial. Um, and business. Um, and business. And business. So America. Shit. Tell me something that that you've learned as his mentee. Um, persistent. Be persistent. I did learn that <laughs> Absolutely I did learn that Sometimes, Be persistent honest. And tell everybody What you can offer them That's right yeah. tell, What do you mean Tell everybody Like when he was, ta- when he was Every on time you see somebody Yeah when he, when he was On our life insurance shit He was telling me Let like, everybody know You know What can you offer them Life insurance <laughs> Open <laughs> motherfucking opportunity Term life That's insurance. one curse Hope, Term life insurance Hope an opportunity So but I mean I don't, I'm not sold though French Reggie Can you sell it to me A little bit better me than too. that Me too that's why I stopped I wasn't even sold Selling the product myself So you're a whack Maybe was when he it comes to selling insurance, probably not other things. Was he whack? No, um, I'm not gonna say that. I can't even. I, I, think, I, was, I didn't I, even step on the court. I, I, <laughs> you know? I, I, I don't. I don't think it's that. I think. Um, so whose fault is it? The coach or the player? You no. Know, sometimes, it, just sometimes, it ain't the coach's fault. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the coach can't go out there dribble and run the play too. You know what I'm saying? He right. called the play. It was the game's and, fault. It wasn't the coach's. The fault. The game ain't know? changed. Yeah, but I didn't like that game. I didn't like how it worked. I didn't like the 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 scheme of it. What happened? What happens is is this right? And what French Reg is not going to tell you is that, you know, the people that he surrounded himself with, you know what I'm saying, when he approached them with the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people look at it similar ways to how you look at it, be honest, or, you know, and... And, that's and, true. And, and, and I think that's the biggest thing. So, you know, a lot of times when you're trying to, when you're trying to pursue a dream, the closest people to you will... will be dream stealers and, and take your shit away, keep you from doing it's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to stop, but I'm, I work with me here. You know, when you get passionate, we talk about that, but that's that's typically what happens. So French, French ain't gonna tell you that's what that's what really happened. The people he surrounded himself with deterred him. But it, from doing it, but what isn't he, he to do. surrounded himself with you because you're his mentor? Well, not necessarily. He wasn't around. I don't me believe all that the time. you're a good mentor. He wasn't around me all the time. You know what I'm saying? What he would you grade his mentorship out of what? Out of ten. 
five. Five. That's not. That's good. That's not good. It's fifty percent. We fifty. <laughs> that is we, not we, good. We, we we fifty though. But you know what I'm saying. That's that's pretty much what it was. To be honest. But like I was saying, I was at the um, I was at the field this weekend, and you know you get an opportunity to see a lot of um, a lot of moms at the field. You know when you work, and I work with a nonprofit and uh, football. You know uh, flag football and stuff like that. So you see a lot of moms. So I was sitting so back was, and I was I was in, uh, sitting in the recliner chair. You don't testing, look at the dads, right? just the moms. I was sitting back in the recliner chair, right? And I'm noticing, you know, women now they're wearing these yoga pants, workout pants, whatever pants you want to call the tight, the Leggings. new modern day back uh, biking pants. Leggings. You know, they just wearing this. Just everywhere, right? You know, and 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 I got to thinking about when I was in the airport when I was traveling the other week. I'm watching the women there, like they come through the airport. I know, know some people travel in leisure leisure wear, but I'm looking at the bags of all the women, you know, that they getting on the plane and stuff, and they checking back. They the small little luggage bag, and I'm like, God damn. Is everybody three curses? I said, God dang, no. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody just if the, all if, these? One- if the drink ever gets here, you three shots down. I just want you to know look, that. Look, be honest. I said, is everybody? Is this what they got packed in these suitcases? Because you, you, at one point in time, women would take two, three bags. But when I was at the field, I'm like, some stuff ain't for everybody. I saw this lady do. I wait swear. a minute, wait a minute. Are we talking about traveling? Or I'm we- talking about leggings. I saw the well, women I, in the I airport have, with leggings on. I have a reason for traveling light because. No. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. For frequent flyers, people who fly for business or who fly often, they know that now it's not the same as it used to be. When you talk about three or four bags, because you could take two or three bags with you for free. Mm-hmm. Now they charge you for every extra bag. If you have more than a carry on, you pay for that. So people who are frequent flyers, when I was managing artists, I would always have a small bag. You pack leggings too? No, but oh. I, I would, I would maybe, I maybe would fly in like sweatpants or something. But I'm talking about their bags, look, and I'm, and I'm small. Like, it has to be small enough to fit in the overhead. Otherwise, you can't take it. You have to yo, pay. Yo, you got to pay that twenty five dollars. You got to check it. So, and also, not just that, you have to wait at the gate because they have to, you know, get the, all the baggage. People who are frequent flyers, they don't carry more than a carry. And they only probably spend a day or two there, so they ain't trying to come out with that whole closet. But, but I'm just saying, it just uh, as an overall, it just seemed like these leggings are taking over women. That shit comfortable attire. for Attire, like they're not That's really. They're, they're not they're not having to dress up anymore or just you know switch it up. They they're dressing leggings up, you know what I'm saying, longer shirt, you know what I'm saying? They're not really wearing jeans and you know that's that stuff like that. If you I, say so, I think you can pack jeans and you can pack a, a few outfits. You just can't pack a bunch of shoes. That's really what it comes down to. You could have four or five outfits in a, a small carry-on luggage if you didn't pack five a, a different pair of shoes for each outfit. But then again, and that then, just makes sense, though. Yeah, but then again, then you got these. And women these are probably that, white people too, right? No, as these black, it's, um, it's black people. I mean, it's a mixture. It's even like when I was at the field. I mean, it was a mixture. I said you saw a plethora of people, like just an array of everybody, just whether they be white because it was white. Laid out there, she had a nice butt. She had, her butt was bigger than some of the black, and I mean, they look real. But I'm just looking it at the type. But I'm, just, but I'm saying, <laughs> but you get an opportunity to see all this in these these yoga pants or these tights, whatever you want to call it. But then you have the nice looking one, you have the skinny ones, and then you had uh, the the beluga whale ones. You know, like this one chick. I know you because that beluga whale, right? Is it beluga? Beluga whale You know It was one chick Be honest, be honest I swear dude and they, and they wearing the tops That's like Stretchy tops too You know what I'm talking about That's like the, They match the pants This chick was so She was so darn big Right She was knock kneed And slew footed I don't know If she was pigeon toed too How many D's are in that word Knock kneed Knock kneed Slew footed <laughs> And I don't know if she was pigeon toed, but I was just like it was the most horrible sight. And I'm looking at all these bad bodies that's standing in front of the fence. What were you wearing? Because your body is not great. It's not, but that's why I cover my stuff up. So like, when if I wear a t-shirt, right? If I right. wear a t-shirt, right? And my t-shirt look like my belly is gonna pop off from under. Uh-huh. I'm just not wearing it where it look like it's just short. So what t-shirt? How big does your t-shirt have to be for it not to look like your belly is gonna pop off from under it? it I, I I like to hang dry all my t-shirts so they don't draw up. <laughs> to, what size? So the belly button. It's um uh, 40, 44. That's not a shirt size. That's t-shirt. Nobody buys t-shirts in forty two. You buy large, it's medium, a, or small. Well, the large, large, the large is forty two, forty four. It's not large. Is large is forty two, forty four. You're not yeah, large. large. You don't. What did I say right there, Bianca? <laughs> Bianca, what did I say right there, Bianca? Uh, Look at my, what my t-shirt say. Extra large, right? It say forty two, forty four. It says extra large. It, be, you full, it does. You full of, B, you full of crap, B. It, 
It says 42, it says, 44. It says XL. How you have an extra large? I'm not the polo. I'm talking about the T-shirt, be honest. How is that extra large? <laughs> he has, a, he has an extra large T-shirt underneath a large Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, oh, that's, I forgot. That's the black T-shirt that I got on up on this. So, so check this that out. That one is. How you got an extra large shirt and it's still too small for you? No. What's how that? You, how you put an extra large T-shirt under a super <laughs> tight large <laughs> polo? No, no, no. But, but you know, that's one of them T-shirts that you buy at the store that, you know, the no T. <laughs> Why are you mad, though? You like, it's a large. I thought I had the white T on. Today, oh, yeah. I forgot I changed it up mm-hmm. But normally it's a 42-44 that I wear mm-hmm. And your, be- your belly doesn't stick out from under Is your nope. pants a 42-44 I tuck too? my t-shirt in my drawers <laughs> What's your pants size? <laughs> I tuck my t-shirt in my drawers And then I, if I tuck my polos I'm going to tuck my polos in my pants So it's got No, because you don't double tuck them in your drawers <laughs> That's old men do that You know what I'm saying? Why are you tucking anything in your drawers, man? I mean, just so it can be straight <laughs> I tuck the t-shirt in the drawers Why don't you and just the go to the gym, Jason? On our side I'm going to the gym Two days I'm getting there Two days I am In the morning before <laughs> work afternoon before you go to sleep. <laughs> Eat some good salads for lunch. Oh. You'll be good. Give yourself too much. You'll be looking right. I am. I, I promise you. I'm gonna get this weight off me by my birthday. When's your birthday? It's in July. Okay. I'm gonna be good. I'm Bet. gonna be good for. I'm gonna be good for the summer. It? it don't take. It don't take long. French. Let's put some on it. Let's Twenty put, bucks. All right. Twenty bucks. What, what's Bet the goal? On, the goal is me to lose some weight. Not one How pound Not nah, bad I'm gonna lose <laughs> Hey Mark, mark my word that we Some can see that you Hey lose. look Watch this Watch this Mark my word I lose about 15 pounds Before the summer you need to, He needs to weigh tonight He needs to weigh in yeah, tonight You got a scale yeah, right, we, we get a scale. That. We get kid up with a bet, bet good on 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 on, on the live. Yeah, I'm on lose, the live. I'm gonna lose 15 pounds. Okay, by the so here's my problem, right? First of all, you're saying that you don't like seeing women in leggings, which is I do, I do, but is, not which big is ridiculous. Women. Second of all, no, how dare you say anybody with any size shouldn't be in a certain thing? You shouldn't. I'll be honest, I'm gonna tell you something. It's certain stuff that I just I'm just not wearing. Like a large t-shirt, like a large polo? No, like a medium polo. This 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 one right here, this one fit this one this one still fit me kinda I'm still kinda fine in it. You know what I'm saying? Like French, you like that that that, that black horse, that, that white horse on that look good on that boy. Hey, look, it's about to get up and go. But I'm I'm hey, be honest, this is <laughs> it's tight. I mean, no, but them them guns over there, you know Bro, what I'm saying? Let the guns. Let the let the camera see the guns. Yeah, hey, yeah. look, them, them 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 guns right there, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't see it. I'm looking on the screen here. I don't see any guns, man. That's the best. Okay, let me Why see. Why are you so ashy? Oh, look at that. Hey, <laughs> hey, because I actually, I actually didn't put lotion yo, on today, Ben. Yo, Friend. fucking okay. Bi- your whole biceps ashy. So, so tell me. So this is I'm, I'm not gonna let everybody know that we just got through looking at some transsexuals on, and you was like, oh, she's pretty. She's real pretty. So tell me why you don't like women again in leggings. I do. No, what I'm saying is, I just think. Leggings or yoga pants, they're they're not for everybody. And if it is, you just need to cover it up. It like like you should you is, should be doing like if you weren't if you're gonna wear it, uh-huh. you will have to cover it up. Be honest, I swore, I swear. I saw this one woman, right? She had the pants on, and I don't know what she had in the front, but it looked like a booty in the front. And I don't know if it was a poofa. What what they call it? Fupa. Fupa. Like it was like big. I'm like, what's the fupa? A fat upper pussy area <laughs> oh. and Like I was like If this ain't the grossest And it was shaking When she moved It was shaking in the front sorry, Walmart, When she walked past I feel like I somebody looked, like that Be at Walmart When she walked past I said damn that's nasty And it was like, like They had the women With the bad butt shapes And it was like Their <laughs> booty was sque- squeezed in Like somebody just pinched it That square ass yeah, No it wasn't even square It was like Just like it was pinched And I was like Why do you have this on I wanted to just Tell them this is a no no And I started to do some smooth pictures And I tried to take A couple of pictures Of the big lady That was standing to the side And I don't even think I got one But I was trying to Really get it Because it was like gross And I almost lost Everything that I ate that day <laughs> Seriously And But I was just like I just think some women Just shouldn't wear that You know what I'm saying I don't, And it's okay To have confidence But you gotta have friends To tell you this is not what you should wear. Seriously, you know when 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 because them, them. So Jason, you should not be wearing large polos. Okay, you gotta I'm have not. friends to tell you, right? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a bigger ones, Dan. Be honest. Thank you so much, <laughs> be honest. I mean, because you should not tuck your draw your shirt, shirt in my drawers. <laughs> but most people won't know my t-shirt is tucked in my drawers unless you just know. I don't. And I, unless I tell. Why do? Why, what's the point of it though? Why do you do that? Because I, I feel like, like that's it to be uncomfortable. I just that. like it to be no. When you when you cool like me, when you used to doing it, it's it's really <laughs> you not that bad. You know what I'm saying? But um, it keeps everything. Cool and crisp It's like I'm not tucking everything In one location You know what girls do When they put that thing Before they put a dress on So it can like A slip I don't know what it's called But I've seen girls Do that before Right That's what he does That's basically what the the. They, they say in the live room Jay's put on legs Leggings with dick prints in them 
Oh, okay. That's yeah. all you got? That's that's your comeback? Yeah. Sometimes you don't got a comeback. Who said it, be honest? Why does it matter? Be honest. Uh, who you think said it? Um, uh, who... King Kunta. <laughs> no, he didn't say who, it. Who that? It doesn't matter uh, who said it. Fa- family Dollar. Who? Security guard. No. <laughs> Who's bus driver? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> the one. The, the one. That, hey, we got. We got. A, we got a person in the Slack that got mo- multiple jobs. Like J Mac has had multiple jobs. You don't know where she's gonna be working at. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be the bus driver, security guard, she a flight attendant, she worked for the um, DOD, Department of Defense. You just never know. Who said that shit, Bianca? It doesn't matter. Oh, that's four. That's four press words. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, but but I'm just saying, you just it's just some stuff you just should not do, though. I'm, I, I mean, got you. That that's just me. I, I I think that women need to get back to the basics and start dressing it. You know, because what happens is they start being lazy. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't shopping no more like that. And I know a lot of women. I've I've talked to. Women I don't have that a just, problem with leggings at all. But but with for everything, every goddamn way you go, we got I mean, the leggings. Not everywhere, but what when when do you ever not want to see leggings? I mean you do, but damn, I be wanting them to dress up, put something else on too. You know what I'm saying? She said she swears you can't keep her out of your mouth. Hey look, hey look. <laughs> I, 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 Why I, is she always in your mouth, dude? Hey look, hey look, cause that I'm I'm gonna say shit about her all the time. But why is she, she always in your she mouth? Like, cause she's a smoothie. Why not? <laughs> look, look. And she she like when somebody talk about her. I'm the only one that probably talk about her. You know what I'm saying? The I'm only a, one what? The only guy to probably talk about him. The only guy the in only the guy. in the world? Probably so. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> I think you want her, bro. You know what I'm saying? Key. Wow. I'm, I'm probably gonna you be thinking about her. Yeah, I'm, no, who? Think about who? <laughs> first Allie. For, first Allie? Nigga, the name says it itself. There you go. Allie. <laughs> I don't do Allie, dog. <laughs> <You sure? laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> so you, you've never dated an Allie chick? Come on, man. No. Yeah, We've go. been friends too long, man. Yeah, man. Come Let on, the secrets man. come out. Come on, man. Never. No. Never. Hold on. Allie? No. Not named Allie. I'm talking about the, some, the term. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Allie chick. Nah, who? Name one. I don't know, but that chick you had, you had me hooked up with, with the long hair, man, she was an Allie chick. I don't know about her friend, because... No, she was pretty cool. That's the one that opened up the. Uh, she, she, had to, she, she could had be to, cool and still be an alley. Chick. She had the business in Macon, Georgia, where yep. she opened a sports bar and shit like <laughs> Macon, that. But Georgia? she was a uh, she was a manager at that time by motherfucking Target. I don't remember her being a manager. Which one? The one you were messing with? Yeah. Oh, so but what about the one I, you chill hooked me up? Well, with? I didn't. I didn't know her. I mean, we met at the same time. <laughs> it's like the one time. It's like the one time where we met up with the nurses, right? The one was tall and one was short, and you talked to the one that was taller than you. Right. She was standing like giraffe. How, how height. much taller was she? She nigga. was like an inch taller. Oh, that's nigga, she had flats. Flat. She, in flats. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. She, she was like she, an inch taller. She had, she had about two, three. She did not know two, she, three. She, she, she was like five, ten. She would post be honest. That just she, bring them down yeah. to the post. And she just, was I like mean, she was probably like five, ten. Yeah. Be, I mean, be honest. Look, if he turned around and hugging, he was hugging her in, in the abdomen area. That's how tall <laughs> she was. I'm serious though, but yeah, I was. I mean, but she was cute though. She wasn't. She ain't had no. Uh, she ain't had no beard. She was seven feet tall though. What the fuck? I mean, it, I five mean, ten. She wasn't looking for nobody shorter than her. So oh, she it didn't. So it didn't matter. She could. She might as well been seven eight. Do you think? Do you think guys have a problem dating shorter girls because girls don't like it? Huh? Do you think guys would not date shorter girls? I mean, I mean taller girls because oh, okay. girls don't like it. I'm sorry. Yeah, because I wouldn't care. I don't really care about it, but care. the only reason why I don't even try it is because I know the girls don't like it. No, you just know you can't climb that high. I tell chicks, I know. He's from don't Haiti, buy. nigga. Yeah, I tell that's chick, all I know how to I go. tell chicks, it don't <laughs> bother me. I said, I climb It don't bother me tree. too, but girls have such, like, they think that you can't protect them or something. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know who put that idea in their I head. I don't, know what's, I don't know what's up with the women nowadays, you know what I'm saying, especially when I used to be on the dating sites. One of the things like they yesterday? used to ask you, you know what I'm saying, like, what's your height? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what damn difference does it make? Because you know women saying? have a, a, a women have guidelines in their head about what they want a man to be before that, which is the oddest thing in the fucking. Which world. is why they can never be happy. The brokest woman, the brokest woman, want a tall nigga. We want a, a tall dude. That's, that's another one. A tall dude. That's a tall nigga. We're not saying that. We're not oh, cussing. So not. That's five. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they, I only got one shot. To they want a tall dude who makes this much money. He looks this good. He worry, He's physically fit. He got this kind of car. He got a house. He got all this stuff. And, this kind of and, and guess what? He has all that and still be hood. <laughs> no, yeah. Still, yeah. still be hood. still be hood. A real dude, right? Yeah. And, but she ain't bringing nothing to the table. And she ain't bringing nothing. It's not even about bringing to the table. She not even a she wet vagina. She can't even sit at the table. <laughs> she can't. She doesn't even deserve to sit at the table that she's asking for some. Why is that? Why is that even a thing? I don't understand why women get away with that. We allow them to, or y'all do. I don't. Because we don't that. cry about that. We don't complain all the time. But yeah, but but shouldn't you? We men. Why would we want to? Com- we should just so complain. What's the alternative? We still get them, but at the end of the day, they have to sleep with us. 
Well, not have to, but at the end of the day, we still get them. I, I, think, I think that's why we don't complain. Because at the end of the day, we still get them. Because I've I, I've I've gone I've <laughs> gone out with some I've gone out with some tall chicks before. It don't really bother me. It don't bother I mean, me at especially all. When they, especially when they I put like their a heels woman on. with long legs. Yeah, like that don't bother me at all. It's just they have they think that you can't fight for some reason if you're short. Usually I, the short what, dudes know how to fight compared what, to the tall dudes because they've been in more fights. Fight right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like actually, it's the other way around. You would want a short guy because that man so? got hands any quick. With the hands, oh, yeah, you got you kind of got excited on that first. Hey, like hey you, I'm ready to like fight anytime. To fight. I'm not a fighter, but man, if you try me, we could go for it. Damn, friends, we are gonna get that twenty count up in no time here. You know what I'm saying? I'm get you on a dating website, but yeah, be honest. I, I mean, that's why that's why I am with that. You know, with that legging ordeal, man. I, I think that they just gotta change it. They should have something on the package to say not for all. <laughs> You know, not the I, one size fit all. Not I, just, all. I don't. I don't care where you wear leggings with, when you're with me. Big women. My, my wife can wear leggings anytime she wants to. I don't. I, I'm not saying the why. I'm you're saying talking that. about the big overly. It's like me. It's like me wearing. Um, it's times. like me. It's like me wearing the little um, shirts that the um, Under Armour, the tight fitted shirts. <laughs> I'm just not putting no, no, no Under Armour tight fitted shirt on. Can you picture Jay Smooth wearing that shirt? Yes. I, I am not putting I, so things that you would not see. You would not see um, Smooth in a diving suit. Dude, I look like a walrus. If you, <laughs> you look if like you, a walrus now, though. What if so, you were diving? I ain't diving nowhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just not doing it, to be honest. That's I'm just not. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, you I'm, gotta let people be, man. I'm just saying. I mean, that's just something you just would you put a diving suit on? Yeah. Do it, you'll suffocate. I'm smaller than you, though. <laughs> mine is mine is more muscular. Jay Smooth, be come honest, on, you man. killing me. Jay Smooth, come on, I, man. I mean, just looking at you in this blue Jay, shirt, Jay I don't Smooth, know where your breasts and your stump start and stop. Come, come what on, what a separation! At? It, it's funny. What a separation between. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, it's I'm funny. just saying. It's funny. Jay Smooth got a fat. He, like you see, Jay Smooth, you know, he got a fat shame you because you know, like with him, if it's a bundle but, package, it's a little bit better. But, for but, him, but, but right? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, this what it is, right? Bianca's head is messed up because Kit, for so many years, had told him he looked good. And she no, really told Negro, him the truth. I do look good. So you mad because you don't got no girl to tell you that you look good? No. Kit should look at you, bro. I mean, and tell you the truth. Like, <laughs> they maybe say, you need to get in the they gym. They you were in an Under Armour polo right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey look, hey look. That's hey, okay. But, look, the crazy bicep. part is, Jay Smooth. When I do get in the gym, it's official, and you still, even when you get in the I'm gym, I'm giving you a head start. Be honest, you know, it because... doesn't matter if you do or don't. What I'm saying Dennis, is, you still, you'll if, still if never we be both go, to if me. we both go to the gym for six months. <laughs> It's ridiculous difference. There's a there's an abyss between that's us. That's because you own all that uh, uh, nope. unnatural nope. Nope. growth. <laughs> I don't growth take hormone. I don't take any. You shaking. You you be honest. Be like this in the gym. He's he's shaking stuff up and I like don't. this. Hey, he about to get ready to drink that's the creatine. I don't. And he like this. He taking he taking a body grow mass and all that stuff. You take all that crap too. You buy the big jug of weed. Whatever that is, whey, whey protein. E-Y. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't, that's the stuff you buy. I don't buy nothing. I don't you, waste my money on that. Man, I've seen it at your house. I don't before. buy that. I buy. I don't buy weed. I buy penis grow. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever. That's man. sad. Six months. <laughs> it's just, the difference between me and you is I'm ridiculous. Just saying, I'm just saying. Huh? It's okay though, man. I will see. It's friend, okay. Me and French got a bet. It's okay to be the softer friend. Hey, it's fine. It's, <laughs> it's okay, dude. And women still love. But women still love you exactly. So why are you mad and why are you tripping? But but what I'm saying is, I got a bet with French that I'm gonna be fine for the summertime. Well, you said 15 pounds. 15 pounds by your down. birthday. By my July. birthday Okay July It's May, June, July By my birthday 15 pounds if not more It's just June, July bro It's two months Well May's yeah. tomorrow May, so. This is May So June, yeah. July So two I, we ain't there yet May, June, July Three months Well you gotta it's work Almost, almost three May. months Yeah I'm gonna get it Speaking of bullshit That he's talking about He's gonna do And that's my one mm-hmm. Uh First allocated Is BS a cuss word? Yeah mm. yeah. So here's the thing though Jay Smooth So five years ago What was your five year plan Five years ago What do you, If you can remember I wanted to be married <laughs> Jay what about you French Reggie Five years ago I wanted to be done with college That's funny to me <laughs> <laughs> You did I not to want done. to be married I did <laughs> I wanted to be done with college And I wanted, it I was. I was hoping to be married all right, so you you recognize your dream then you saw it in, yeah. was that the only one you had that was the biggest one and then really in the mid not five years really the last three years I wanted to start a podcast and look where I'm at now and, and I, I did so. want to lose weight which I did lose weight you but did I, picked, <laughs> I did lose weight when I when I hurt my leg I lost weight and I picked it back up <laughs> not because you say, couldn't eat nigga it is nigga I lost 40 some pounds you couldn't eat. Eat. Say, you Whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute you lost 40 pounds I lost 40 some pounds so you around. were lying about how much you weighed then huh I was at what, you, 235 if you lost I was under 40 200 pounds. I was under 200 
Oh my God, fattest. fattest I was, I was. And, and remember, you was like, we talked about, you said, <laughs> most people pick up weight when they hurt, so look, but I lost weight. You cannot count hurt lo- weight loss. You can't. You can. Count, no, you can't. Most count. people gain. You might have. What? Most no, people they don't. gain weight when they out. Gain. No, they don't. They do. That's, that's not a true statement. It, you weren't able to get up and go to the, the snack machine as much. I could. I could have had it brought to me. That's even better. A la carte. Bring it to me. <laughs> that's not what a la carte means. Uber Eats. That's not what a la carte means. <laughs> uh, uh, Amazon. Send it to the doorstep. Okay, they just started doing that. But look though, your plan was. They to was lose, doing it when I was hurt. Plan to lose weight. Didn't. That don't. I don't. I don't give you credit for but that. I, I can't help you. You don't believe in the Bible get, either. Get what? You what? don't believe in Jesus. That doesn't have anything to do with. So it, this, this is your thoughts though. Okay. You you aren't married, obviously. You agree on that one. Common law. I was married. When? To who? I mean, I was in a few relationships name a name. that was coming along. Name a name. I, I don't name names. No, so bro. I, I protect the innocent. <laughs> I protect the innocent. Who are you protecting? Say the I name. I mean, no, I'm not. But I was. I was in long relationships before. Oh, my God. So, look, my, my question is, what is it, since you are obviously are not good at this. French Reggie, you're 100% though, right? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to start a podcast He's two for two. three years in French a lot college. like Alley Cat. <laughs> what are you talking you about? Hey, you gonna believe him? They look like sister and brother. I'm just saying. He just don't have the um the photo uh what they call that the little stuff you put in your eye over your eyes and the Filters? little halo over your head, huh? Filters. Filters. Yeah. So what you was about to ask, Bianca? I'm gonna ask right right now. What are your five year plans for now? What do you feel like that you do right now that you won't be doing in five years? That's really more what I'm talking um, about. What for instance? I'm gonna be married. People in five are, people years. Are on Instagram always talking about you know what I'm saying making positive changes and every meme you see is about how great they're gonna be. Yeah, like a Gary Vee book. Yeah, like <laughs> just stop thinking about the negatives and think. About the positives, all Kanye West, free thinking. Exactly. <laughs> what do you say right now? I mean, and this is going to be on record. So in five years, we're going to be able to talk shit about this. That's two. So, what is what is going on in your life right now that you don't think will be happening in five years? What do you refuse to be doing five years from now that you're doing right now, or that you're letting happen to you right now? The position of my job, I won't have it. I'll be a lot better. Um, a lot what better. That, what does that mean? I'm be, I'm, hold on, hold on. How do you measure that? A lot uh, better. You well, make a dollar more an hour. I'm, I'm more. I'm gonna get paid more, and I'm gonna be at a different position. Hopefully, two positions up. You know, from where I am now. Um, and I'll be married in five years. Be honest. I'm claiming it. <laughs> you gotta start working now, but <laughs> no. five years is around the corner, my friend. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't ask you what you're gonna be doing in five years. What I said is, what are you doing right now? Listen to me. Listen to my question. Oh, being a hoe. No. I'm gonna change it. You gonna change it? I ain't gonna be no more hoe no more. You're gonna stop being hoe. It's gonna take you five years. It's gonna take me five. You sure yeah, your pimp's I'm, gonna be cool with that? I got. <laughs> I ain't gonna. I ain't, I ain't gonna be hoeing no more. I, I'm just not. I, I mean, I just. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be faithful to one. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be good. I ain't gonna be talking as much shit. That's a cut for us. So um, I ain't gonna be talking as much shit. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be good. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be working on. Um, I don't think you can take seven shots because you're about, you're about to. No, he's going to take seven shots. No, I'm, I don't think he can. I, when I say he's, no, he has to take them. But I don't think he's going to be able to take, like, oh, yeah. by, by deal the fourth with one, seven. By right. the fourth one, he's going to be done. Right. Hey. So, so the things that you're doing right now. So, right now, what you're saying then is that right now you are a whore. No, I, I, <laughs> no whore. I'm not I, I'm not a whore. <laughs> okay. No, but, I, have, I have bad ways about me. So, but you said in five it's years. It's okay. It's okay. You said you in five years you're not going to be a whore I, anymore. I won't, no, I won't be doing the same things that I'm doing today. Can we be serious? I wanted to be serious on this one. Okay. You're just playing. Okay. What is it that you're doing now that you refuse to be doing in five years? Don't, then don't tell me you're not going to be a whore because you're still going to be a whore. No, I'm not. I'm not. I just refuse to be. <laughs> God going to forgive me for my sins and all that I've heard. Our, it, according to you, he's already forgiven every time, whenever you ask for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And I, I ain't asking him as many because I, I want to just give me one big Whoa, forgiveness. Say my name one more time. I'm going to roast you like old girl did at that dinner. That's from your friend. First, Alley Cat, you, you will never win a motherfucking battle. Alley Cat, That's Alley Cat. Eight. But Alley uh, Cat Eight shots You know what I'm saying Hey, hey don't Yo, she supposed here tonight look, Don't she supposed to be working tonight <laughs> Hey I thought Walmart pull out stock <laughs> Hey Don't Walmart pull out the palace <laughs> At Rowdy's time I don't know what time it is in Louisiana But See and I know I know right about now they, they Look they pulling pallets in the store And dropping them in the middle of the floor Get your ass to work <laughs> <laughs> Why do they put those pallets in the middle of the floor Ask, for, ask first Alley Cat She'll tell you She come out there with that cart <laughs> 
And she loaded up. So, hey, she probably got the hardest aisle. You know what I'm saying? Knowing her, she lazy. She probably got the tissue aisle. You know, no, she's like she's always working. She got like four jobs. Well, hell, when you on when you got the aisle with all the glass with the pickle juice and the, <laughs> the, the spaghetti sauces, you know what I'm saying? Hey, get to work. Yeah, she got about four jobs though, and she be she, lying. She said, "Call her." <laughs> no way. <laughs> ain't, nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody calling you. She she want to get on the show. No nah, hell no. Nah, that's what she wants. She, she just want motherfucking attention. That that Walmart. Well, that's nine, bro. That you gotta, wa- yo, you, you got to act no, around at seven. You can sleep but in the studio tonight, bro. Ha- you don't have to sleep in the studio tonight, look, What happens is you have ignorance like that that calls me to just act out in rage. Uh-huh. No <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, it just, it calls me Jake's to go Jake's move, what are you doing right now that you refuse to be doing in five years? Come on, man. Messing with French, first Alicat. Hopefully she be the founder man. Stand by. Think about it, okay? French okay. Reggie, what about you, man? What, what's going on in your life right now that you see as being a problem? That you know that there's no way you're gonna be doing it in five years. Working for another person. Okay. So any job that's not my own, um, I hope in the next five years it's over. I'm done doing. I it. hope. Mm, hope. Mm. Well, in the next five I years, say refuse. I'll make, I refuse. Okay. In the next five years, I I refuse to work for another man. You sound like an Instagram meme now. Because I said hope. Or no, refuse. Yeah, just, be, just I don't know. I don't. I don't believe you. Like, you don't believe me? Like, yeah. I'm mean, I'm putting the work. What else? What else you got going on right now that you say it's not gonna be happening in five years? You're going to be hopefully over that 30 point. <laughs> right? That's not I'm a goal of mine. Whatever happens, happens. But am I right, though? Most likely. Yeah. Well, I might find the one. You never know. In the next yeah, five you years, won't. you never know. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> Keep going. Um, that's really it. Just working, you, you, working for... Wait a minute. He, did he bring up marriage again? No, I did. He, oh. said, he said that... You don't, don't want to be do married it. in five years, do you? I don't think I don't see myself because I feel like if that's the case, I would be doing. Just he said, "I might, I might." You never one. know, but I don't see it because I feel like if I get married in the next five years, the girl would already be here by now. Because it'll, it'll take me a good two, three years before I even think about marrying you. So I'll have to be dating you for the two, three years. So unless you get a good one that turn you out, French. I mean, yeah, but I'm still, still gonna low. give it time. I'm still gonna give it some time. Let time tells you. See, yeah. I, I think that's Jake Smooth's problem. He thinks this is a microwave. I mean, you know, the, he'll be able to just, you know. Figure it out Just turn the oven on 450 No be yeah. honest I'm, My mind is like this like, you Cause know, she my, gotta be my, ready too You know my, You could be ready But that doesn't mean she here's, here's how I feel about that Jace Move Anybody you're dealing with right now Shouldn't be the one they, they're, they're the one No Anybody you're dealing with right now Shouldn't be the one Why, Why? Because you're not doing them right I'm, they I'm, don't. You don't deserve to be with any of them Why? Because you're not doing any of them right I'm doing them right Because how I am it, it Be honest It's like this right You know How I am You know what I'm saying Kicking it with the homies and how I'm with my girl. I'm still the same person. We all are the same with our girls. And no, what is no, he talking I'm the about? same. I'm the Kicking same person. Kicking it with the homies. What? Like when I'm talking. Like when I'm talking smack on the show, right? You know what I'm saying? This is stuff that I that smooth has done. You know what I'm saying? We all we all got past, right? So I treat my girl like a queen. Oh, so you, know you better. Now. And I'm, I'm I respect her. You know what I'm saying? It's just the up and up. That's when, that's what we do. When did you start treating them right? Yesterday. I, all, I always have. From who? From like who's. Like where you getting that blueprint from? Well, he he's he's not using the same guidelines to determine what treating yeah. right is. Yeah, what is treating right? Lying only once a week instead of twice. How a many week? lies? What's the filter on lies? How many lies can you tell a week in order to it's still be treating, treating right? right? Um, I don't, and I'm not to, talking I don't about, have to tell them lies. Oh, you just don't tell them nothing. Selective honesty, forty-eight lies. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I I treat them right all the time, and I be I be upfront and honest with them. You know what I'm saying? That's that's your boy Smooth. That's what I do. I ain't got time to lie to him now. I'm too old. And then I have to remember all that stuff. I can't remember like I used to. Especially me and my narcolepsy. I go to sleep. They ask me so while I'm sleeping. Ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't trying to lie, to be honest. In five years, I refuse to be in debt ever again. In debt? Ever again. That's what's I want to say that, but them student loans are going to take me a while. <laughs> how, how, is, it, is it more than 30000 Of course. Ugh. Is it more than 50000 it's like right at 50,000 50, 50-ish You should have bought a car with that What? what? You have a, you know, Why would you buy people. a just, car just, with I it? I just said that But you know black people First thing when they get money They want a car <laughs> Right? If, if you hit the lottery right now today What's the first thing you buy, friend? Pay the student loans Pay all the debt But outside of yeah, you, That wouldn't have been the first thing The very first thing I do pay is the pay the debt. debt If I get money I yeah, pay yeah. all my debt Pay all okay. the debt Because that way Whatever money that's coming in now don't have to go to nobody I'm else talking about, I'm talking about like You won the lottery The lottery and stuff I was Yeah like pay the debt That's the first thing And then what you about to do next Buy a couple properties yeah, So the car is way down the line I already got you a need, car You need a car to drive You gonna upgrade the car No Stop no I lying, might pay off nigga, my bro. car Cause I kinda like my car So I'll pay it off Oh okay. I'll wait until I make The lottery money work To get another car I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a fresh yeah. sports car <laughs> 
Because <laughs> you need one My car is nice you need He doesn't one. need one He should just buy A little Rudy Pooter Until he gets done Doing what he gotta get done yeah, yeah, I, got I buy a nice car But I'll wait until I make the lottery money work To get an, um, another car What's a nice car though How much are we talking about Quarter million I'm talking about Yeah like like if we if we're talking about lottery money, I'm talking about Maybags and I'm never and, buying a Maybag. And, and those type of cars. I'm never buying a Maybag. I don't care what kind of money. I know people are like you. You don't know if you. Yeah, have I, I can see you. I, I can yeah. understand you yeah. not buying it. Yeah. I buy it though if I got that type of money. I'm going to get me a Ferrari. What? <laughs> yeah. So if I got that much money, I'm oh, getting me a Maybag. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be airing it out just to be like, there you go again. That that fool. On, on 85 going down But that's what I do I only drove it two times Point one, point five for it uh, They don't just stick, <laughs> stick with the Asian thing But yeah be honest So that's that's. So what else would you You said you'd be debt free Be honest What else Debt free is, is all that matters I think that That um, Me and Kit live a, good, a pretty good life Right now I think that we Allow ourselves to get in Silly little you know, silly little debt. I think would that you, would you if without with, with a lot of money if you silly little debt like credit cards. Silly, silly little debt like this. If I wanted to pay off my debt, I could do it in one year. If I would use my if I use my salary to pay it off. Let me ask you a question. If you, and that's that's cars, credit cards, whatever. So you don't want to do that because if you do that, you want to spend money on like going out to eat and things like that. Well, you can't do that because there's still the cost of living. True. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying that I, that's to me that's silly debt. Now, if you have like there some some people walk around with. Incredible, incredible debt. I don't even know how they survive. Like there are people I know who have credit cards are like twenty thousand dollars credit cards. Hold I, up, they owe twenty thousand dollars on their credit card. Way more. Are there are people who owe like seventy five thousand dollars, and white people owe seventy five thousand dollars in debt on their credit card. On, cr- on yes, credit card. I can understand seventy five thousand total because you probably got your car included. No, 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 you know, no, 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 School. No. Let's and re- credit card. Erase the car. Erase the car in the house. I'm talking about just. Regular walk around the, the streets debt seventy five to one hundred thousand dollars. A lot of white people do that. So, so if you if you if you want a lottery money, to be honest, would you do any type of surgery? Surgery? You, yeah, cosmetic surgery. No, I'm just asking. Surgery? Yeah. <laughs> no. You what about get, you, Jason? You wouldn't you get a, you wouldn't get a neck tuck or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. liposuction on the neck. No. Not, you wouldn't. No. I mean, no. if you had an opportunity to fix your body right now, since the women doing it, you my body is perfect. I, God made me I, perfect. Uh, but I'm just saying, yeah. But he can, like, he can. They can fix you up like they be I'm fixing fixed. these transsexuals. I'm fixed already. I'm. I could. I would go get surgery. On what? Everything? I just have, yeah, I have them fix me or give me a chest and a stomach. If I had lottery money right now, I'd tell them take a turkey needle to the stomach. Why don't you just pay uh, training for six weeks and they can get it to you naturally? Then I, and I, it's I, better for you because mentally you feel... I feel I feel like I come I come out of the surgery feeling good too. Yeah, but that's once I that take instant all the, gratification. Once I take all the duct tape or whatever they put wrap around you off, I'm I'm good. But think about it, if you do the surgery in another six months, you're gonna get fat again. But no, if you do the workout, no, cause I'm you t- know never to get fat again because of the pain you're gonna go through to no, the workout. No, I would I never get I won't get fat no more because that's a fresh start for me. Uh, so it's you a fresh start. Fresh start. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm good. So what happened to all the girls y'all broke up with and came back? Those the, that those fresh starts didn't work. That's different. Oh. That's different, French. That's different. So, did you come up with something that you refuse to be doing in five years? That's what I said. I'd be. I wouldn't be. Um, something serious. I mean, something serious. I, French Reggie has some serious. The, I think. I think. Be honest with. Um, like I said, we're we're working. I'm gonna be. You want to move up? Me? I just don't want to work for nobody. I don't want. If my name is not CEO or part of part of it, I don't want to. I don't want to cock in for it. That's 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 what I'm talking about. To be honest, I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna be different with the ladies. How different? You refuse Better? to be the same way that you are now with the ladies. Yeah, so I'm gonna be okay. But see, in order to measure this, we have to say what that way is right now. Well, I'm gonna, how are you I right mean, now? I with won't the ladies? be so. I mean, what is that? How you used to say when I when I would see a woman, how I be, I would be, I would be like. No, we're talking about right now. That's so what I'm saying. How like, are you treating ladies right now that you're gonna change? No, I'm saying you have like, to say like, if you don't say it and record it, then there's no way you're gonna change it. I'm like um. How am I with the women? Um, yeah, I just I I'm, I'd be more tame when it comes to them. I'd be more committed. More I'm gonna be, tame. I'm, gonna be more, I'm I'm more. I'd be more tame. Oh, and I'm gonna be more committed. That's it. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Committed. That that sound that sounds fair. Yeah, if that's what you if that's what you think it's gonna be, I'm just you know I'm concerned about you, man. Why? Because I, mean, I don't I don't believe that. that. Let's do something serious. That's not serious? You don't think you'll change in five years? How old are you not smooth if you don't I'm, mind sharing I'm to the world? 26 and a half, nigga. 26 I mean, look, half, look so. at this. <laughs> I mean, y'all see this right here, baby. This, this, this is it, yeah. So that means I mean, in five years, he'll be 50. 30, 
26 and 5 niggas, not 50. Oh, okay. I multiply. This that Haitian man. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's how I be, be honest. So think about it. No, before I be honest, in five years, we I'm expecting a, a mature, ready to settle down Jay Smooth because eventually fucking a bunch of girls got to get bored. No. Mm-mm. That's never, that, ne- that never gets bored. Okay. Never gets bored. I've, I've heard porn stars say that. So I mean, they doing a fucking job. You think job, you have so sex with more sex than porn stars do? Yeah, you no. Not. But I'm just saying, what they do is. I like, think you do actually. Wesley Pipe said that to the point where now he doesn't even he can't even tell if it's good or not. That's because he was doing it as a job and there was no feeling tax. So it's it's a difference, right? Sure. It's like there, there um, could be some truth to that. It's like if you work, uh, well, I don't know. I, I mean, it's just like. Um, you work in a chicken plant, right? And you just dealing with chicken, cutting chickens up. You might not want chicken anymore after looking yeah. at them chickens. I used to work at Zaxby's. All day. That's a chicken restaurant. For those of y'all don't, that don't know, I was eating chicken all day. And do you and, stop and, me? And you and <laughs> see, but if I had to cut it up, but it's a difference, though, right? I know if what you, you mean. But though. you only work French. You only like a. You know what I mean, you only been working a few years, right? But if you had to work that longevity, like this porn star, been been having sex for a long time, right? Yeah. And just running through them and up through there, you know, like it just get old. Like you just don't have that feeling anymore. You know yeah, what I'm he saying? He said he can't even tell if it's good or not no more. He's it's just, just like sex is really sex is really none to you because you look at it's, it's like you've been doing it so long for a job. Unlike cats like me who be like, man, you get excited about it. Like, you know, it ain't every day that it happens. Uh-oh. What's better than us coming up with the questions? Um, first alley cat throwing <laughs> slang in boxes at Walmart. <laughs> She gonna come for you First Ali yeah, Come yeah. out with the bars yeah, Please Come out for this dude Alright so look First hey, question I ain't never stop it. Uh, your name gonna stay in my mouth Negro Now mm-hmm. go ahead If honest. someone is being petty Talking S Etc Is staying quiet Showing them you are intimidated Or does it show you're a bigger person It shows that you're a bigger person First Ali Cat No it wasn't First Ali Cat Oh okay Answer the question for real it's, um, and, and expand on it So you said um, Someone is being petty Talking mess about you is should you stay quiet? Does that make it? Are you intimidated, or is it that you're being a bigger person? I think I think sometimes it just depends on the person, right? Um, you know, uh, maturity that shows that shows a level of maturity. If you don't go back in on on something petty, you know, like that, you but they're like, talking mess about you, though. Yeah, and sometimes sometimes it's just better it's, it's better to not say anything, right? And you because what happens is right if you just ignore them. And don't say nothing. They shut it down. And you, people, some people will talk smack and be like yada yada yada. But you be like, eh, I'm better than that. I, I mean, I, and I'm trying not to curse. Be honest. I understand, so. but if everybody's watching you getting talked about, they're not saying that. They're That's not, fine. They're not saying, oh, you're just a bigger person. They're saying, ooh, what you why, gonna say? Why are you? Why are you not gonna say anything to them? Blah, 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 but because you don't have to kneel to their level. Sometimes, okay, but, it's like this. It's like this, right? It's like right. me. It's like smooth, right? Right. Smooth will talk smack to. So I've talked smack to people in the Slack or right. talked smack to people who have been well, on the see, show that's, that's what's interesting because I was about to say tonight in the live room some two people said something about you and each time you had to say something back as opposed to being the bigger person you had to say something back I, I mean because, so it's the act that contradict, it's contradicting but, because, exactly what I said, said. But, but what I said was it depends on individuals right I said that I said that earlier that before make I started. Any sense. It does. So what happens is I said it, it it depends on individuals. Sometimes you just have to snap back. And sometimes you just have to show your level of maturity. So you let them know you're not bowing down to them. So when I hit when I hit them back, hit them in the gut, you know what I'm saying? Just let them know, hey. You can't be both. You can't do both of those. You, I can't. I'm smooth. You have and to this is our show. Person. We can we can do whatever the hell we want to do on our show. No, I'm and saying we can talk back. Philosophically. Okay. You can either you have to either be the bigger person or you're the kind of person who buys into that and, and claps. No, you back. can switch it up. It all depends, be honest. Sometimes it depends on your setting too as well. It would be like if you're in a corporate setting and somebody says something like, eh, I'm good. I ain't gonna say nothing. You know, but we'll handle it another way. First, Reggie, what do, you, what do you think? I forgot the question, but because if someone's the, being petty, talking mess about you, um, is staying quiet showing them that you are intimidated, or does it show that you're bigger than that? I'm bigger than that. Staying quiet. Mm-hmm. So, and when, when you get talked about in public, people are looking at you getting talked about. You stay quiet. Oh, like that? That's what. 
the, I mean, I thought it was somebody I know in it because because I was doing it. I was thinking about it passive aggressive style. Like I'm gonna get okay. Out there's only there's only one question. <laughs> all right, so y'all keep putting these instances. But I was thinking about I, get. I, I I'll be you. quiet, but because it's because I'm but gonna I get at them you. later. I told you. See, <laughs> you know it what I'm saying? Depends. Like you can't. It, it can be. Yeah, it can that's be not the same thing. If it's my girl being petty with me in public, I'm gonna stay quiet. But I get. I promise you, this is gonna. I ease up. I'm gonna stay quiet. But if it's just some stranger, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say my say so right there in the spot. But if it's somebody I know I'm gonna see them later, I'm gonna stay quiet. But I get them later. <laughs> I'll get them later. All right. Um I'm what gonna was- be the bigger person in public because I don't care what people think about me anyway. Especially some people. Anyway, um, what's the hardest thing for you to commit to? A relationship. Um Yeah, re- relationship see- for me right now too. Okay. Really? That's yeah, the hardest thing to commit to? What does I have to commit to? I, I, be honest, the hardest thing for me to commit, <laughs> hardest to, commit thing for me to? to hardest thing for me to commit to right now is actually being in the gym. But now I got a little wage on the line. I'm gonna take <laughs> French a little money. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stay committed now. It just give me something to work towards. So, but it's just really being in the gym, um, staying focused on that is um one of the things. And um just um my in my past, um, just relationships. You know what I'm saying? Staying committed to it. Cause sometimes I find myself getting bored. You know, so sometimes Two Sometimes. years, right? Sometimes, yeah. Is I used it two to, years, but I stopped saying that. I stopped saying that. To be honest, because um, what I found myself doing is have is putting a curse and, on myself. In one year, in, in one year, eleven months, one, you start one year, feeling na- itchy. One year, six months, I'm feeling itchy. One year now, I don't remember you having a relationship over two years, except for once. And who was that? I'm not saying their name. How long ago was it? To say how long ago? I'm was. not saying that either. B, I've had a few relationships. I just, n- no, I don't think you have. I don't. I don't think you have had, except for one relationship that was more than two years. I don't. I don't remember it. Now I'm not counting that you break up with somebody and get back with them two years or three years or ten years later. I'm talking about just straight from beginning of to end of relationship being more than two years. I've been. In, I've been in several relationships like that. Just no, because. No. Uh, I'm so talking about you faithful talking about just relationships. What, all of them can be faithful. I'm in four relationships. <laughs> they all could be faithful. I'm How? faithful to that individual. How? If you're in four of them. I'm faithful to that person in that relationship. At that time, you, you have think? never been in a relationship over two years, except for that one time. That's sad. It doesn't count if you don't really ever see them. I'm talking about where y'all go places, y'all around each other, possibly live together. You have never one relationship that you've been in over two years. I had two, two. Okay, so you're happy about that, two. She you've had you're forty. No, 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 no. I've had more than that I, in Virginia. Nah, bro. In Virginia, no, when I was in bruh. Virginia, yep. When That's I was in Virginia, two. that, that, no, that Virginia, was the other one I was gonna when, get. No, you. when I was in Virginia, when I got back, when I got back, and that one right there, and then you say, yeah, it's three. The I hard, had three. The hardest thing for me to commit to is uh, drinking sodas and sugar stuff. I just like sugar, man. I got a sweet tooth. I can tell by the gut, right? Yeah, I like steak puff. All right, um, what are what are some things you wish black people, people in general, should stop to just stop doing? Um, blaming, <clears throat> blaming white people for everything. Yeah, you know, I agree. Yeah, they be like the white man, huh? People be some people be like the white man do this, and especially especially southerners. Some some southern the white man holding me back. <laughs> you ever heard that saying? The white man holding me back from doing da 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 da. Yeah. Well, I can't do this on my job because it's always something with the man. Yeah, that. Uh, what else? Um, I was I, anything that deals with calling racism just because you didn't get your way. Because a lot of times it's it's just you just didn't get your way. It's not even racism. I think I think I think with all this, I think with all this social media and just getting butts and all that and and the Instagram and and the Facebook, I'm like, what you gonna do with your life when you're 40, 50 years old? And you know what I'm saying? Making, you post all these pictures. They made all that money, so we're selling flat tummy tea. So I'm hoping they invest in it the right way, right? Put they, in the they, right they, mutual they, funds. They, they probably not. You know, Bitcoin. <laughs> that way, when they're forty, they don't have to still. I've I've stuff I've been pictures. I've been saying for a while now black people are call, are crying wolf. I want that to stop. Uh, black black people have to stop crying wolf. Um I just recently watched the uh, interview with the two guys from Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Have you guys watched the interview? I I've, I've watched clips, not the whole. So, you know, prior to me seeing this interview, I didn't really have all the details, but you know, it's 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 very difficult for me because I don't Look at anything on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. I don't. I refuse to get my news from there. So because it's biased. It's not just biased. It's just like, for instance, when um Khalees and Nas said that that interview with Khalees the other day. Did you guys see about that? I heard that Khalees and Nas apparently put hands on her because she said, "Hey, to Jay Z, right?" 
Some shit like Wrong I watched the whole interview And that was not what happened But the Instagram memes were Nas beats Kelly's Because she says hello to Jay-Z But did he really put hands on her? Well, maybe She, said they, she said they fought Allegedly. But it wasn't connected to the Jay-Z incident the, the, Jay, the Jay-Z incident was just basically They were rivals and beefing at the time And she said hello to him at a party And he was like Why are you, you making me look stupid out here? Yeah. It wasn't anything about beating her because of that But the Instagram memes will have you believe That the reason why he hit her Is because of, of, of that happening Yeah. So I... Don't get any information. I try not to get any information from Instagram or whatever. I happen to get a, see an interview with the two guys with Starbucks, mm-hmm. and um, according to their t- timeline, which nobody refuted, they were there for two minutes yeah. before the police were called. Yeah. Within seven minutes, the police were there arresting them. Yeah. So they, when they say they really didn't know the cops were coming for them, they probably didn't know. I don't have any reason based off of that testimony and then no one refuting it to think otherwise. Yeah. However, had I been on social media, I've been like, nah, I'm not, I don't believe it. I need to see what happened. They had to have done something. Something had to have happened. Yeah. After seeing that, though, it, it you know what I'm saying, it made me change my mind. So only but, this thing, they was there for two minutes? Well, they were there for two minutes before, well, they walked in. I think it was like, if, if, I, if I'm correct, the timeline was 6.34, they walked in. 6.35, he asked her to use the restroom. She said, this is only for paying customers. He went and sat back down. She came over and said, can I get you guys something something to start with? And they're like, we're just waiting on a meeting. We'll be able to. She immediately went back and called the police. By 6.37 or 40-something, the police were there. 6.42 oh, wow. or something, the police were there. And they thought, well, they, they can't be for us. because We know. just got here. And they just got there. So Man. after hearing that <clears throat> and also not hearing anyone refute that, now I'm I'm more inclined to believe that it's it's some BS, yes, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But prior to that, the reason why I wasn't just so willing to just go with it was because of all the cry wolf yeah. stuff that's going on. Where every time something happens, oh it's racial. Every time, oh white people just the the slavery and it every single time. So I want black people to stop the cry wolf stuff. So like, so when so something when something is really real You can more so believe it Versus I w- I'll believe the Me first, Too campaign. As opposed to like I need to see all the details Yeah yeah, yeah. Um, I was reading but, this um, This article on Twitter The other day About like This girl was complaining That hotels Don't have shampoos For for like um, Minorities colors. And I'm like Can you really be mad At hotels Like majority of the population Is white I'm not gonna make They do have for shampoo the minority. Like that's all I'm saying Like before we call racism On hotels They said can, you can't You have black people shampoo Yeah basically all the shampoos In the hotels Are mostly made for white people Hair And I'm like You can't be mad that When over 60% of the population Is white Like why would I make Why would I spend money Buying product For 13% of the population Not just that though You're gonna buy the most Generic thing that there is Just for cause of cost Yes That's just the way it's they going ain't saying, They ain't saying Nothing about the day Like they I'm expect sold. hotels To give you bevel The bevel blade too Like come on man <laughs> Walker, eh, come on, yeah, man. but 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 I get but I but I get what you're saying, be honest. But the thing about it is, is that you know everybody be um, talking about how in in these situations when you look at these situations, it's like the girl. I don't know if you watched the video with the girl in Waffle House got choked out, right? right? And they ask her to leave or do whatever. They, it's either like, do you want to go home or you want to go to jail or do you want to get choked out? Like, and like, don't put yourself in a situation. If somebody tell you get out and you know what's going on, you ain't oblivious to the fact that what they're doing to black people. Get out and make a case later. You right. know what I'm saying? Don't cause yourself to get choked out or get arrested or those stuff are, like me, that. To me, those are a little different because from what I understand with the Waffle House incident, she was actually saying no and she was being disruptive as far as... Um, Getting yeah, plastic to... wear or something that she, you know she they were gonna charge her for the the knife and fork plastic wear and she's like I'm not used to that so she wanted to talk to a manager she sat down the cop came and then she started saying no 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 from these guys in the Starbucks apparently they, did they really just didn't know they they didn't know that it was them that were being accused of something mm-hmm. so the time was so short between when he asked for that bathroom key and the cops were there saying let's go. They didn't even have time to process it. That's so crazy because I've never walked in a Starbucks. You have to ask them for a key. I think it's, that that, that it's, that's it's that, always open. Every Starbucks that I've gone to in Atlanta. But we go to the suburban the, Starbucks. I have you do, ever gone I to go one downtown? To, I go to the Starbucks everywhere. Right. Okay. I go to Starbucks. No, uh, I've been to the one right over. It's a it's a tight it's a tight parking lot with um yeah downtown. I've been to the one on downtown. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't think of the name of the street, but Peachtree. Yeah, and you walk. <laughs> and, well, look, you walk right in. That's I park because you were coming from Bulldogs, right by Bulldogs. You oh, were no, from, I don't even know nothing about that. Beyond there, you go with that bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's what your 12? favorite. One. 
Huh? He just said BS. Yeah, that yeah, 12? yeah, because Beyonce yeah. calls me to do that. But but yeah, but I've <laughs> never. Shots, but the only time they ask you for a key is at a gas station. Uh, no, I think I think <laughs> Starbucks. I think Starbucks. Some Starbucks that you do, they, they do, do give a you a key. Yeah, I think that they. That's like their. That's like their fight back. But this situation was not that at all. It was. Still never it was too fast. It was too fast for them to to not be. Uh, Customers, you don't even know if they're customers yet. It has, hey, what if you didn't know time. what to buy yet? What if you just yeah. wanted to sit down and think about which drink you wanted? The statement they made was that they already had water, so they didn't need it. That's kind of stupid, if you ask me. You're coming into a, a business, so you know if you bring your own water, that's come on. You yeah. know you don't take your water to a, a place that sells water. That's just whatever. But all in all, though, now that I've had a chance to see the actual interview. I can make a judgment based off of what I really truly believe yeah. happened as opposed to what Have you been to Starbucks ever since? I have not. Oh, the customer service is A1 now. Oh, really? Oh man. <laughs> they they'll, they'll let you have some free shots. They'll let you Oh man. <laughs> All right, last one. Is this statement true? Failure is needed in order to be more mature in life. Absolutely. What? Failure is needed in order to be more Of course, true. yeah, yeah. That's failure experience, all that. It's one step close to success. Yeah. What? But we was always taught that failure is bad. Well, when you said failure is one step closer to success. Because <laughs> if you don't give up, if you don't give up. Nah. Yeah, how, how is it any closer? It's not one step closer to well, success. Well, I'm just saying because if, if because now it's, it's taught you a lesson, you know what I'm saying? So you just get up and try it again. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? But it's not one so, step. You no, I'm not saying steps. literally <laughs> one step. But you know what I'm saying? You just get up and try it again. Like So you think that every failure helps you... It, it helps success. you learn. It helps you in your quest to success. Every failure. A failure, yes. Every it single failure. It depends on what you learn from. It depends what you get out of. I don't know that every failure does. Some failures are not needed. You know, who's to say that? That's just us, and I, I believe because if we all had it our way, we would just want to be successful. Like snap of the hand, we just hey, success is there. But if you if it's given to you, you don't appreciate it as much like you would if you had to go and work through it and you had those levels and of failure. And that's why you should work and, out instead of doing lipo. Yeah, but I've, I worked out before. <laughs> I know where that got me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, be honest. He works out all the time. I, I don't mean, work out all the time. You used to, but you the only you the only Negro I know Jace that work move. out and you don't get no six pack. That, your that, stomach stay fat, Jace dude. Jace move. When I work out, I'm ridiculous compared to you. This Negro, the only nigga I know got a fat neck. He don't play no football. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, French. You probably play rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I play, I'm better than you at it. Everything uh, through our I'm, entire I'm, my childhood. Fa- my, my foundation is unsturdy right Bruh, now. The only, the only thing that you were ever, ever better than me at, ever, in our entire history of life. Women. No. <laughs> You're not even married. I'm better than women than you. No, no. You yes. just, be- you just yes. better at closing. I have <laughs> that more clothes. <laughs> I got more closes. You just close no, the deal. You have and no just closes. Lo- 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 you, have, you don't have a close yet. Lo- I- I've closed all of them. You haven't it's closed It's just the them. type of clothes. You know no, what I'm saying? Bro. I had a lot of short sales. <laughs> <laughs> this dude had contracts. I had short, short yeah. sales. You know what I'm saying? Yours, longevity. You got You had a 30 year mortgage yeah, on yeah, yours. Yeah, you got your short sales. The only sport that you were ever at any point in our life's better. Than me at was track, and that was, and that's because you were fast for a quick second. I was, that's fa- it. I was always fast, but honest. that's Jesus it. was faster than you. I can't he was. picture that. He was when he was weighing uh, 129. Uh, that's it. And I still can't I, picture that. He wasn't better at basketball, football. he was not better at football. football, he was not better at any contest. He might have got me at basketball because I'm, I mean, I'm, I was okay at basketball, I didn't really play a lot of that, you know. He wasn't good at any of these sports, he was faster than me in track, but when we were. Year 2000 What was that? I, mean, I was older then dude. Was 18 I, I hung ago. it up Year 2000 That was when, No hold on How old were we in 2000? Uh, 2000 I don't know I was Come on man I was 30 something We were 25 we were 25 and 2000. Damn. I dusted this dude. I was at the end of my career, dude. I, I mean, I'm 40, I'm 40, 50 I pounds dust, heavier. This dude came up limp and like grabbed his leg. Like basketball? He, that's, no, we were my the, knees were messed up. We were at the NFL French. experience in front of all these people. This is where I started we did, we really messing the, my we knees do, up at this time. We were doing a 40-yard dash. He pulls up at like I 22 had, yards. I, I was, killed him in the 40. I killed him in the 40. Did. I was already so 40. 40. He doesn't know the Like 40. seven Seven, huh? seven seconds Seven You gotta run a four five. I was finish. a No I was a four three Yeah right You would be in the NFL he was, I, was, I would have been He was not a four three I would have been I'm not even a four three We know No but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was faster than you yeah. are right now At 25 Yeah I'm fast, bro. I don't care. I was faster than you. I'm okay. telling you. I mean, you, probably, you probably are. It doesn't matter. Don't let them shit on your dream. Yeah, you was I was fast. faster than you too, bro. <laughs> no, no. You was whack. Negative. In high school, you were negative. fast. Let Every be, sport, I kill you in now. If, if you keep listening to this We got to get on the court, though, because we have to, man. It doesn't matter. Friends, we have how, to don't listen court. to this BS that Be Honest is feeding you because it's lies. 
Just lie. Right. I'm going to tell the truth. You're going to tell the truth. Absolutely. Listeners, thank you for tuning in to the No Nonsense Show once again. Jason, Well, it's 10% less bullshit than any other podcast. It's like 15 yeah. shots, yeah. too. Get roll damn tea. That's you know like what I'm saying? 16 shots. I'm too. just saying. I'm just saying, Beyonce. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hey, look. Make sure you go out to the website, nonsenseshow.com or rarestunners.com, where you can check out all of our shows. Keep supporting us, keep interacting with us, and we'll keep bringing the nonsense because we realize that sometimes people just need to laugh. Till next time. First Alley Cat, take your ass to work. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>